Hello everybody, welcome back to EAFC24. Um, this video is going to be less of a pack opening and more of kind of like a what to expect for team of this season. Um, because there's been a lot of news, there's been a lot of stuff to talk about. And honestly, I'm very excited about team of the season right now. Because there's, uh, uh, according to all the leaks and according to all the stuff that's been going on, there's a, there's a lot of stuff to be expected out of team of the season. Um, so of course... We have, you know, the new updates on, you know, the champs, squad battles, and division rivals, which they are going to, they are updating rewards, which means we're going to get better, hopefully better rewards um, for team of the season than we did uh, currently. So usually it would be like, you know, for, for example, my division, if I ended in division one, I would have around like the, I'll have, or division two rather, I have like 86 times threes and stuff like that. Hopefully they include team of the season style rewards in there uh, at one point, but they won't start until April 19th, which actually would be this week, but then again, we won't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, squad battles, division rivals, the, ri the rivals rewards, the new rewards are starting on April 25th, which is next week. Uh, so that means for sure that division rivals rewards will include some level of team of the season, like player picks or something, or something along those lines. So very, very excited about that. Um... During team of the season, the Champions Finals event will start to be the Champions Finals event start will be delayed until 8 p.m. British Standard Time, which basically means you know it's going to be two more hours after the new content, and will be extended by 24 hours to ensure rewards can feature team of the season items. So it'll end likely on on Tuesday instead of Monday, which is a pretty big deal. That means you have a lot more time to complete for champs. Uh, plus, to celebrate the start of Team of the Season this week, you've been given enough Champs qualification to enter Champs playoffs and play to qualify for Champs finals. So, plenty of good stuff. Uh, so, that means essentially I have qualified. Um, well, pretty much everyone has been qualified for, for Champs. They haven't updated the Champs rewards, I don't think. Um, I haven't even finished Foot Champs for this week either, which I probably will finish in a little bit. Um, it's safe, safe to say my RTG run has not been really good right now. I'm four and six. If I can at least end up with nine wins by the end of it all, I'll, I'll be okay with it. But right now, it's just not looking good. It's, it's not looking hot, honestly. EA have given us some objectives as well. Um, we got ourselves to think of, I believe we all got ourselves a yeah warm-up cup, uh, which will give everybody at the end like prime players for each league. And then at 84 times 5 to end it up. So, you know, it's just play matches, win 10 matches. Uh, is there a limit on how many matches you can play on these? No limit. So you can have a... Oh, it's Mystery Ball. Okay, that's interesting. So Mystery Ball with um, 93 max overall and no players over 94. So pretty much your best squad, which is fine. I think mine does qualify for it, though. So let's see. Nope. Uh, Schneider is there. Vidic is there. Kafu is there. So that wouldn't have worked, but safe to say, I have plenty of cards that would fit in that for the RTG, so it's okay. Um, in any case, uh, let me also just uh, talk about some of the um, some of the stuff that's happened so far, at least for as far as leaks go. So, um, if we go to uh, Foot Sheriff's Twitter, if let me see if I can pull this up, um, they have been updating a lot of stuff for. Um, well, for team of the season, uh, this so what to expect for team of the season? Uh, it's more likely than not that we're not gonna have it. I guess for for lack of a better term, there's not gonna be a community team of the season. Um, but there will be the new the kind of like the replacement for that, which is the team of the season live card. So let's pull up let's pull up our good old leaker uh, foot sheriff. Um, it's gonna be in light mode, so prepare to get your eyes burned. But let's see here. Okay, so yeah, here we are. Um, so yeah, as you can see right here, the team of the season uh, red champs. That means we are gonna have red champs wards for team of the season, which is really good. Good. Um, it's good to see that there's a bit of a return for this. As for plus, that still remains a question as to what it is about, right? Um, we still don't even know. Um, they're they're. The rare players and stuff like that. They apparently confirmed it here. Uh, check got released today. And here is the live uh, team of the season team. Uh, let me see if I can just like adjust this real quick. 
um, here. This could work a little bit. There we go. So we can see right here, Modric, Bruno Fernandes, uh, Christian Romero, uh, Klaus, Doku, Havertz, Kudus, Vasquez, Bisek, Loftus Cheek, McGinn, uh, Robinson, Otamendi, Zaha, Gabri Vega, Hincapié, uh, Re Re Bayer, uh, Alan St. Maximin, Sobosly, Rafinha, and Merino are confirmed or at the very least are leaked to appear on the live team of the season. So this is pretty much likely going to be the replacement for um, for community team of the seasons, which uh, yeah, it, it kind of caught a lot of people by surprise because usually around this time of year we would get like some inkling of a um, of a vote that people would take about you know who will be on their team of the season. But yeah, this is gonna be essentially gonna be the team that's gonna come out next week. And more likely than not, this will be the team that will be on red picks uh, as um, as team of the season play, player picks. So look forward to these. Of course, you know, the hot ones would be Bruno Fernandes and Modric. Um, of course, Doku could be a huge one right here as well. Havertz might be one that people, if you're Nepenthe, is you're looking forward to. Um, Who's another one? Well, if, if you're a Spurs fan like myself, or you, or you want that Christian Romero uh, to link up with the new Mickey Van de Ven SPC. Rafinha could be a good addition right there. Uh, Zobosly likely as well. Saint Maximin, always a meta player to be honest. And then of course just the rest. But in any case, that's pretty much the state of the entire thing. And safe to say that um, the, the, this team of the season is going to be massive. Uh, I've only been uh, on like as part of a couple of team of the seasons uh, myself. I've only started playing FIFA around FIFA 20. So, you know, this is uh, for the most part still kind of new to me. I'm not really too like into the FIFA community, I would say, but it is pretty like fun for me, even though the gameplay is not. But overall, I've, I've just had a great experience just playing the game as uh, it reignited my passion for soccer again for football. Um, but yeah, the, uh, this is uh, another exciting time for football fans, uh, as we start to celebrate the best players here on the, on, as we said, yeah, we pretty much celebrate the best ones basically, but yeah, um, so I want to at least try to provide some level of tips, um, on how to prepare for team of the season. Cause even though I've not done team of the season that much throughout these couple years, I still know a little bit just to kind of like have an idea. So, as far as leaks go, um, if you're not a big fan of the team of the week, uh, team of the season for this upcoming live, um, you know, um, this kind of live content or the team of the season live team, I would recommend saving your packs for the, your preferred league. Um, in all likelihood, um, even if you do end up packing, you know, a team of the season this week is likely going to be the lower tier. Um, so if you want to save packs, you're very much inclined to do so. You're probably better off doing so until you reach the league. I know for sure that on my RTG, I am not going to be using like safe packs, which is the reason why I don't even have any packs on the store. I'm usually, I think right now as a priority, I want to at least, yeah, yeah, I could try to pack some like fodder from like some of the packs I earn here, but I think for the better, uh, for better kind of like, you know, as a better strategy for me here in the RTG, I just want to rank up, like, rake up, you know, coins and stuff like that for future EVOs. Because, like, as I mentioned many times before on the, for the RTG, the main purpose of the RTG is to pretty much create the best Japanese team imaginable, like, as I can, you know. Obviously, I wasn't able to complete every single evolution. That's almost an impossible task considering the lack of coins, the lack of, you know replayability with this game more importantly but uh safe to say that the progress i've done so far i'd say i'm kind of happy with it to be honest i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of proud to be honest <laughs> uh as much as as much as it has been a bit of a pain um it's safe to say that you know kind of like crafting this whole entire like team just from scratch uh into what it is now uh I'd, i have to say man it's like very 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 satisfying to look this is pretty much all my Japanese players, with the exception of, you know, the goalkeeper. Because for some reason, EA have decided not to Evo any goalkeepers whatsoever. So, 
this is pretty much the team that I've settled on pretty much. So Sawa, of course, being the main the main character she is here. Um, of course, yeah. Uh, Kubo, of course, he's been there for a long time. Uh, pretty much, yeah, since I completed the SPC. I've been so happy about keeping that this SPC as compared to like having the, the Trailblazer one. But, you know, it's all been worth it. It's all been really nice. Uh, Ueda has been such a massive player for me. Uh, as you can see here, 118 with 142 goals. Uh, Karami Toma, he hasn't been super crazy, but at the same time, you know, when it comes to like just the dribbling and stuff like that, he's excellent. I love it. Uh, I've been trying out this uh, Kawabe, um, Inform Kawabe that got put through the birthday evolution. It's safe to say he's been pretty good. I've been enjoying him a lot. Uh, he's he's really good. Defensively, he could, could be a bit more stronger, but that requires a shadow and stuff like that. So. Uh, Nakata, I haven't had a lot of chances to use him. I literally only used him once. He was okay. He did score a goal, but I just need um, kind of more from him. But uh, I'm willing to try him out even more. And then, of course, I have players like Ito, 312 games, really good. Yoshida has been really has been a pretty good defender. Sugawada has been there since literally the beginning of uh, my entire journey here on the RTG. And of course, Tomiyasu, I evolved him. He was really good. Um, then you have like players like Nagasato, who was early on a good one. Uh, Kobayashi, who has been my better center back for a while until Yoshida came in. Um, Endo was pretty decent. Uh, Kubo has been a monster, especially on the free kicks. That's the, that's the free kick, the free kick specialist. Kamada was a really good attacking mid. Saito was pretty good and fast up until he wasn't anymore, or at the very least, until he gets an upgrade, he probably won't be as effective as I, I would like. But that's neither here nor there. Itakura early even then early like it's so sad because early on this card was amazing but he's fallen so behind the power curve because so many of the evils have like no like have some kind of weird requirements like he would have been into the um, the silky center back evil that happened like, a couple weeks ago but because he was a CDM it doesn't apply to him so you know that was pretty much dead in the water uh, Nakamura didn't even use uh, Endo. He's been in really good evolution. I've been enjoying him. Hasegawa, 271 games. She's uh, she's been pretty good as well. Ito, uh, haven't done much with him. And then of course we're back to Mitoma. I have a couple more evos on the club itself that I hope eventually I will I will evolve. Um, there's the other version of Ueda that now I, I now at this rate I can't even evolve anymore because for some reason the game thinks I have the same version again, which I don't. This is the inform version of Ueda. The other one I have is the uh, the one I have as a starting uh, starter striker. He's uh, he evolved from a silver, so you know, whatever. I have both versions of Kubo. Well, now I have three versions of Kubo at this rate. I have the other version of Sugawara. I have uh, Asano uh, inform. Uh, and then I have Tagawa, who has been a monster as well. He's really fast, really good, really amazing. Uh, of course, you know, the only weak, weak points are his shooting and passing and a bit of the dribbling. But overall, he's still really good with a lot more potential if EA decides to give him that. So that's pretty much that, basically. Uh, there's Onaiwu and all this stuff that haven't been evolved. Tagawa has been the early on kind of like left wing back or left back for a while. But obviously, he fell behind. So that's only, that's the only unfortunate thing about it. But in any case, uh, Tanaka is going through an evolution right now because uh, the evolution I put him through is the atomic, um, the radioactive position, which gives him these stats right here. Um, dribbling wise, really good. The stamina, really amazing. Defending, not the greatest, but you know some of the passing and some of the shooting are pretty good. Pace is pretty okay for center mid for CDM more particularly, but that. Pink pass and stuff like that, that's very useful. So, uh, very much looking forward to evolving him eventually. So, yeah, that's pretty much the progress so far on the RTG. Uh, but, yeah, uh, so basically for team of the season, um, just as a final word, uh, save your packs if you don't want to do the packs for, you know, your specific league. Um, another piece of advice is um, craft a bunch of team of the weeks. Um, because early on, you're going to need a bunch of Team of the Weeks. Much like you would for an Icon SPC, for a campaign mix, for a specific player. You're still going to need a bunch of Team of the Weeks, right? 
uh, what I would recommend doing for, um, at least for what I did for my thing, right? Because in my RTG, I have a bunch of informs and I still pretty much do. I think I have like 20 to 30 plus maybe of informs, which is the same number to think about. I have 10, uh, 20, 30, uh, yeah, around like 36 informs. Um, and I would recommend that the best way you can kind of like motivate yourself to make more informs is to think of a, think of, think of an inform you've wanted for so long, right? For example, for this one, the reason I crafted so many informs at the time is because I wanted to pack um, uh, Team of the Week uh, Kaori Mitoma for the evolution, which uh, I showed you guys. And that whole process has pretty much been like, oh yeah, you should definitely like um, craft as many as you want within this time frame, otherwise you're not going to get this player and you're going to miss out on the evolution that you so desperately wanted. And I mean, as it turns out, man, like, oops, I didn't even know what I did there. Um, is that still there? Oh yeah, that's weird. I've never done that before. Anyways, um, that's pretty much what happened with this Mitoma and look at the results. He's a five star, four star player with uh, 99 shooting because I put him into the club 99 Evo. Decent pace. Uh, really, really decent uh, dribbling. Of course, balance is the only weakness at this rate and the composure. But overall, everything else is really great. And when you need him to take a shot, he'll definitely take it for you. He's automatic. But it's, yeah, it's, that, that's pretty much essentially it. Like, dedicate yourself to that one player. And by the time you realize it, you won't even notice that you're pretty much crafting a bunch of Team of the Weeks, right? Um, what I would recommend doing to achieve such a thing is... Um, there, there are a couple of SPCs, and Nepenthes actually uploaded a video recently where he was kind of going over this, where he would uh, put the common goals into the 77 plus uh, FX uh, upgrades, and in turn, those ones will give you like maybe since they're concentrated with just the five major leagues, still the chances of you packing like, you know, um, yeah, the chances of you packing a walkout and stuff like that are pretty high, more or less. Um, I don't think they include women's leagues, but in any case, uh, it could be possible. And and then so you can use some of the 84s, the 83s, and maybe if you get lucky, if you pack an inform, you can put them towards the 83 times tens, or you can put them towards the 83 plus team of the week player pick, which only require an 83 with two with 185 and 82 with 284s, which is pretty easy to craft. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the loop. Um, you can do the double upgrades, or you can try to just do the player pick which i believe now is the 81 uh which requires probably like seven players or something like that uh yeah like uh eight players basically so and with one rare so yeah you can pretty much pick and choose on which one you want to do but yeah guys so that's pretty much my update pretty much on the rtg and my advice to you for team of the season so if you guys enjoyed this video little video i know this is pretty much like completely different from what i usually do i prom i'm kind of taking it slow throughout this week because you know for the most part this is pretty much a warm-up by the time team of the season like rolls around my main account is going to be ready to rip open a bunch of packs and a bunch of stuff but right now this is kind of like a chill time maybe if you guys wanted me to talk about something time just to fill out the air time let me know um talk about something that happened may have happened you know in pop culture sonic movie <laughs> there's a bunch of updates on that um i don't know just let me know uh, i'm a nerd so just let me know if you have something that is on your mind football questions as well i'm willing to answer so but in any case uh if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like comment and subscribe i'll catch you all next time see ya